Making sense of SVOC. Analyzing sentence structure. Hello and welcome to our latest English language learning video. Today we'll be diving into the subject verb object complement, SVOC, sentence structure. Understanding this structure can greatly improve your sentence construction and overall English communication skills. So, let's get started. First, let's clarify what we mean by SVOC. It stands for Subject Verb Object Complement. The subject is what the sentence is about. The verb tells what the subject is doing. The object is the receiver of the action. The complement adds extra information about the object. An example of an SVOC sentence is, she, subject, gave me, object, the book, verb, that was blue, complement. Now that we know what SVOC stands for, let's focus on identifying this structure in sentences. Remember, the complement in an SVOC sentence always describes the object. For example, in the sentence, my brother painted the fence white, white, is the complement because it describes, the fence, which is the object. Another tip is that the verb in an SVOC structure often describes a state or change. Verbs like, made, named, called, found, etc., are commonly found in SVOC sentences. To become more comfortable with SVOC, it's helpful to create your own sentences. Try to use a variety of subjects, verbs, objects, and complements. For instance, you might write, the teacher named the student captain. In this sentence, the teacher is the subject, named is the verb, the student is the object, and captain is the complement. The more you practice creating your own SVOC sentences, the more naturally this sentence structure will come to you. And that wraps up our discussion on the SVOC sentence structure. I hope you found this video useful in understanding and identifying SVOC in English. Keep practicing and creating your own SVOC sentences, and soon it'll be second nature. Thanks for watching, and happy learning!